ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? So I'm going to try and keep this short and sweet for you. I do have a very sore throat and a lovely little temperature from yours truly. So what can we expect moving into Asia tonight? Well, ladies and gentlemen, you know what it is. It's the merge. CNBC releases an article. Let me increase this so you guys can see it on mobiles. You can see the merge has arrived. Wednesday is your last chance to buy Ether before historic makeover. Now, what you've got to be aware of, guys, is this sort of, these titles, okay, are designed in principle to make you do something, make you click, get you into doing something about it. Now, if you've clicked on it to read it and then decided that you're going to go and buy some, and you've seen that they've consolidated it and said some market experts say the real upside price momentum is set to come after the merge. How many people read CNBC? How many people are just going to look at that and call this the go-to for crypto? The actual merge itself, for anybody that doesn't know, says here, right? I ain't even going to try and read that number. This upgrade represents a fundamental overhaul of how Ethereum blockchain works. If successful, what is that? If successful, Ether would no longer be mineable cryptocurrency. Buying it will be the only way to obtain it. During the merge, some brokers will suspend deposits and withdrawals of Ether and ERC-20 tokens. So if you are staking Ethereum anywhere, just be mindful. Might get a bit volatile, according to CNBC and CryptoCraft. Well, what is this platform? It's nothing. It's just the place where information is presented. We're not going to know exactly what the real situation is going to be. All we can do is just look at price action and Bitcoin and assume that if Bitcoin is going to move back up from this point, given that it has just obtained a silly amount of liquidations in Binance, run this right here. Logic would say that there is still, oh my days, $4.2 billion worth of long liquidations at these lows. Now, let's just be honest now. Let's assume that Ethereum and Bitcoin take that nosedive and finalize the vector candle inside this range. We marked this bad boy off earlier on. But this is the consolidated zone right here, ladies and gentlemen. You can see price action isn't behaving the way it needs to be behaving. It's absolutely manic, which is why I say to you, pay yourselves, get out, fast in, fast out, get the money, run, start again. No hero trades, ladies and gentlemen. You don't want that. Okay? Now, we've got Asia opening very shortly. What time is it? It's actually half nine. The UK, the US markets will be closing in the best part of half an hour's time, UK time, that is. All right? Now, all we're looking for is a slight recovery. How long are you going to be in the trade for? If you're going to try and build positions for the merge itself, just please be very cautious with your leverage, ladies and gentlemen. Don't try and aim for heroic trades. There's no glory in it because someone will always make more money than you. Someone will always have a better position. Someone will always have a better buy than you, which will dwarf whatever it is you are um, trading in. Unless you brought Bitcoin at 0 0.0000, I ain't even going to continue. That would be the best trade on earth, categorically, with the exception of Jeff Bezos' wife. Ex-wife, that is. Now, going into Ethereum itself, ladies and gentlemen, what I want to draw to your attention is this vector zone right here. Now, Ethereum always usually moves before Bitcoin. So this stopping volume candle right here could be an indication that something might actually happen tonight in relation to coming back up, okay? Yes, the liquidation zones are here for Bitcoin, but how many times we've seen them come towards these zones and completely dismiss them and move away from them? Just because it's there, it doesn't mean that you, it has to go there. It's just a case of when. The time you decide that you think it's going to go down there and you run a short from here, what if it doesn't play out? What if they start coming back up and try and take advantage of the shorts that are currently in this chart? Where is it? All these bad boys over here. I mean, look, they've eaten 22 billion in this range so far. There's nothing left of impressionable liquidity, that is. All right? So again, be mindful trading tonight. Just keep an eye out on what's going on across the board. Here's something for you that you might like. This website, Fiat Leak, used to put this up in the live streams. 
Absolutely awesome. Which is installed. Uh, no, no, thanks. Absolutely awesome. So it's just a nice stream of Bitcoin and Ethereum's price and who's picking up most of it. All right. So if we go to Ethereum, you wait for the data to start coming in. This bad boy here. Here you go. And what's happened now? Goodness. There you go. So now we're just going to wait for Ethereum. And you'll start seeing where people are picking up Ethereum around the world. Quite a cool little interface on there. And look at all these transactions that are happening right now. All on different exchanges. Okay. As you start seeing this pick up, Bitcoin is absolutely crazy. But I'm suggesting that you have a look at this because you might see an impulsive purchase or a big buy somewhere. That'll make you just be like, okay, is it actually happening? Are people reacting to the logic of the merge? So you'll see it starts building up. I'm going to wait and show you this when it's in its full swing. Check this out. So you could see right here, the US is the only place buying Ethereum right now. Everyone's gone to bed, right? Especially in the UK. No one's picking it up. Where are my UK guys at, man? We should be supporting the endeavor. <laughs> Jokes aside, ladies and gentlemen, it doesn't provide you with anything other than transactions that are happening right now. You can put the buy onlys, you can buy put none, you can put all, okay? You can put transaction details and it will just show you everything right there. Not that you would need to know about that, but it's just nice to look at. Bitcoin would be the fruitcake of this all. It's the crazy one. Check this out. You see that change now? Here we go. Very shortly, Bitcoin's going to start moving. And then you'll see it it's dispersed all over the place. There you go. Bitcoin right there. So UK stepping in. And very shortly in Asia, you'll start seeing, there you go, starting to make its way. Someone just brought 10 Bitcoin. Okay. And before that, 0.3. Not got really that many big Bitcoin orders here. Got five there. And all you're looking for it's just big orders. That's all you're looking for. Here we go. What we got here? 15 Bitcoin picked up. All right. This is on buys only. Oh, sorry. 679 Bitcoin was just picked up. You were meant to watch this stream, ladies and gentlemen. Is that much? Is it? In relation to the marketplace? We've seen these orders getting picked up in the book map. Fiatleak.com, ladies and gentlemen. Cool little website. So... Mad love and respect, ladies and gentlemen. I've got to get myself rested and save this voice. I'll be checking in with you all tomorrow, hopefully. Take care of yourselves, guys. Peace.